My name is Alexander Bergendahl. I'm the CEO and Game Director of Poppermost Productions. We are a nine-man outfit from Stockholm, Sweden. Uh, we started out two years ago, uh, just the three of us, uh, myself, uh, Philip, my technical director, and Marcus, my artistic director, um, and we started building snow together. Uh, then we're building with CryEngine. It is a free-to-play open-world winter sports game. How did Poppermost come to be? Uh, how did it form? What's the, what's the history of Poppermost? Yeah, so about two years ago, uh, me and my two co-founders wanted to make games together um, and we wanted to have our own studio and so we, we started doing that um, and decided that Snow would be our first our first title. Um, so it was purely out of the, the love of making games that we started working together. So I mean, you, you mentioned that Snow is, a, is an open world skiing game, so mm -hmm. how exactly does that work? Because I, don't, I have ne never come across a game that, that describes itself that way before. Yeah, um, we, we looked at games like uh, Skate by EA. Mm -hmm. Um, and saw a real potential for creating an uh, open world experience where you can you know, ski and eventually snowboard. Um, basically we give you an entire mountain, uh, all 360 degrees of it, to ride around and explore a terrain that we've handcrafted to be fun, uh, dynamic, uh, where you have you know, forest areas, cliffy areas, um, but also man-made areas like a dam, a, a quarry and different things to, to spice up gameplay. What point did uh, Oculus Rift uh, integration sort of come about? What point did you decide that it would be a good idea? Um, Oculus came into play when we checked out the uh, Valkyrie demo last year at Gamescom and we were blown away by it and we went straight to Oculus and said, hey, come check out our game. And they said, that's pretty cool. Here's an Oculus Rift. Um, and so then we started working. On the, on the day they gave you a Rift? Or? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> literally then he said, I, I don't usually do this, but can I come back in a minute? And he went up, got his Oculus Rift for us and brought it down. Um, and that sort of kicked it off for us. And so we integrated DK1. Um, and then it went a little quiet because we really do need to focus on the game still um, as it's you know just in alpha now. Um, and then we spent some time before games come again upgrading it to the DK2 and fixing a lot of problems that were uh, that was part of the integration. I mean, how, how many, how problematic did you find integrating the Rift with, with the game? And obviously you guys are still working on it right now. It's pretty early in the, in the build, but yeah, what problems did you come across? Um, I can't speak from a technical background, um, but I mean, DK1 integration wasn't hard. It was more integrating it correctly with CryEngine, um, which f didn't fully support uh, Oculus at the time. Um, so we had to do some work there, uh, and we ended up working with the Star Citizen guys to, to make sure that we got something working. Um, and then with DK2, obviously some things changed. Um, so now we have to kind of go back and, and fix some of the problems and re, I think, reintegrate it with CryEngine. Um, because the sort of way it, the way it connects to the game is slightly different now. Are you finding the the CryEngine Oculus Rift support fairly good, uh, easy to work with? Yeah, um, I mean that's again a question for Philip, but uh, <laughs> um, I think we're we're generally happy with it, and in Cry Crytek are extremely excited by what we're doing, uh, as it is a great example of their engine and also their engine working with uh, next gen VR. And I think yours yours is one of the only only one of two games that are currently Oculus Rift supported and running on CryEngine, is that right? Yeah, we're probably the only game that's actually playable right now with Ocula, Oculus Rift support. Um, you can go out and get the consumer can go out and get the game. Yeah, they can get on uh, Steam Early Access right now and it works with VR um, and we'll be updating it uh, next week uh, to this to this version that we're showing here. Um, and then there's obviously Star Citizen which has obviously said that they have it working, um, but I don't think they've actually released anything. So we're talking earlier about the possibility of, or, or you, you guys are uh, thinking of integrating multiplayer support. Um, mm -hmm. How that's going to work? Give, us, give, give me an example of a multiplayer interaction that you might have. Yeah, I mean, multiplayer is just like you would, you know, skiing in real life. You go with your friends on the mountain, explore around together. You can put down a, what we call a session marker, basically a flag where you can respawn to, um, find an area you guys like and, and, and you know, hit a jump or try to race yourself, race each other down a, down an area. We really want to give a lot of tools to players so that they can create their own experiences when they're playing multiplayer together. So they can say, let's race from here to, to the bottom of the mountain um, and pick what type of race they want to do or if it wants to be a trick-based type of uh, trick -based race, um, it's up to them, really. So, I mean, along the, you've obviously uh, integrated VR support. Have you thought about uh, integrating any other type of peripheral support like Razor Hydra or, or STEM? Uh, I think... Um, Is it going too far? It, yes and no. I think we need to focus on a, the core experience, which is the authentic um, gameplay where you're doing you know, lots of tricks. Um, and because of that, it kind of limits how many peripherals we can work with. Um, of course, you know, there are lots of cool things you could do, um, but then you end up losing the ability to do tricks. Um, I mean, 
modern tricks are, you know, like a double cork 1260 is two flips while you're spinning, whatever, three and a half, four times, um, which just would kill someone if they tried to do it on, sure. on, on a peripheral. Yeah. So it was recently announced that you guys are, are going to be supporting PlayStation 4. Yeah. Um, uh, have Sony approached you about Project Morpheus support, given the fact that you, you've integrated Oculus Rift? Yeah, I mean, it was quite clear from day one when, when we started working with Sony um, that there would be a potential for this. Um, I can't really say how much we've discussed with them, but um, I mean, we're showing Oculus here and we announced PS4 yesterday, so you can do the math.